Hi guys, welcome to Number X. In this lecture, we will learn how to prove Heron's formula, which is used to calculate area of a given triangle. So let us start. Let us construct triangle ABC in which length of AC is equal to B, length of BC is equal to A, and length of AB is equal to C. So we can define perimeter of triangle that is 2S is equal to A plus B plus C. In triangle ABC, we have dropped a perpendicular from vertex C to side AB, which meet AB at point D. Let us consider length of CD is equal to H. So, AD is equal to a square root of B squared minus H squared by using Pythagoras theorem in triangle CDA. Similarly, Applying Pythagoras theorem in triangle CDB, we can find length of DB is equal to square root of A squared minus H squared. Since AB is equal to AD plus DB, now we can substitute AB as C, AD as square root of B squared minus H squared and DB square root of A squared minus H squared. Taking a square root of b squared minus h squared on left hand side of this equation, we get c minus a square root of b squared minus h squared is equal to a square root of a squared minus h squared. Squaring both sides, we get c squared minus 2c times a square root of b squared minus h squared plus b squared minus h squared is equal to a squared minus h squared. We have used x minus y whole squared is equal to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared identity on left hand side. Further, we can simplify it as by cancelling h squared from both sides, we get this equation. Further, we can take a radical on the right hand side and remaining terms on left hand side and we get b squared plus c squared minus a squared is equal to 2 times c times the square root of the quantity b squared minus h squared. Squaring on both sides, we get this equation. Further, we can simplify. Expression on the right hand side of this equation becomes 4c squared times b squared minus h squared. Further, we can write this equation as given below. Now, we will take negative 4c squared minus h squared on left hand side and remaining terms on right hand side. Since area of triangle is equal to half times c times height, further we can write 2a is equal to c times h. Here we will substitute the value of ch by 2a and we get 4 times 4a squared is equal to expression on right hand side. 4b squared c squared can be written as 2bc whole squared and here we can apply the identity x squared minus y squared is equal to x plus y times x minus y and further we can move ahead. This expression can be written as b plus c whole squared and this expression can be written as negative times b minus c whole squared. Again on right hand side you can apply this identity and you will get b plus c plus a times b plus c minus a times a plus b minus c times a minus b plus c. Now our target is to create sum of a, b and c in each factor of this expression. We can do it easily by adding similar term and subtracting similar term and we get this expression. Since 2s is equal to a plus b plus c, now you can write the above equation as 16a square is equal to 2s times 2s minus 2a times 2s minus 2c times 2s minus 2b. Now taking 2 as common factor from 2s, 2s minus 2a, 2s minus 2c and 2s minus 2b, we get 16 times s into s minus a times s minus c times s minus b. Now cancel 16 from both sides and we get a squared is equal to s times s minus a times s minus c times s minus b. Further we can 
rearrange factors. So we get a is equal to a square root of the quantity s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. This is called Heron's formula to calculate area of triangle ABC. Where S is called semi perimeter and its value is given by A plus B plus C upon 2. If you like content of our video useful, then subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Till then, goodbye.